Hi everyone! So today we're going to be looking at uh, a little bit more about layers again, but uh, we're going to be looking at uh, that functionality that there's actually quite on a, quite a few keyboards where we have, when we press two layer keys, we get to a third layer. Uh, so we actually have this functionality in the Blue Micro, uh, and the way it's implemented, it's um, using um, a, an actual different function that uh, we get called uh, to tell which layer we are actually calling when two layer keys are pressed. So that means if we are, obviously when we have two layer keys, we only have an option for a third layer. But then if we had like three layer keys, then we have like, so let's just say we've got three keys, then there's like one, two, three individually, then the first two, the second two, then the, these two. So there's actually quite a few combinations. There's like, when you look at it, there's eight combination possible. Eight, is that right? So one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, n not pressed. Uh, and then technically you could have all three pressed as well. So that's eight. Uh, different layer combinations just by using three keys and obviously if we have four keys and it gets like more complicated pressing things but we can go all the way down to like 16 layers with four keys uh, so uh, we can get pretty complicated um, as setup but let's just go and do with two keys and then calling a third layer and then the same process can be applied for any other combinations after that so let's jump uh, just like in previously, let's jump into the uh, uh, the program and I'll be switching uh, right here. So just like in the previous tutorial, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new folder under the key maps here. Uh, so key maps, where it is? Key maps, a uh, new folder. Uh, how do they call that? It's like um, quite often we've got like raise, lower, and then the adjust. Uh, but we're going to call that... Uh, let's just call it adjust because um, everybody knows adjust. So let's go adjust uh, layer. And then just like previously, we need to copy uh, the previous one. So we're going to copy, take these two files, uh, copy, and we're going to paste it in here. So uh, we can have something to start from. So we know that there's gonna be three layers. So we're gonna have layer one, let's call it maybe this one here, layer two. So layer one, gonna go layer uh, two. Uh, I'm gonna have layer one, I'm gonna come here, then I'm gonna need to copy this function here to a layer two. And we're going to go completely different on this one. Uh, I'm going to go A, B, C and such. So K, C, A, B, C, D, I, F, there are 16 of those. layer one there for now L M N and then we're gonna have just to layer two and layer two so this way by actually duplicating the layer numbers on the keys we're actually making sure that if it actually switches layer when it does the scan, we pick up the exact same layer. So there's no confusion about which layer is being accessed uh, by what. Now, there's actually a third layer we want to set up um, that is going to be layer three. Uh, and what do we want to put on here? So layer three, we're going to go with the uh, uh, 
Uh, so we've got layer M N. So let's go with some of the odd characters. Maybe I don't know. Let's just let, let's completely flip it around. Um, so one, two, so and so we're gonna go with dot. Gonna go comma here. Uh, and then we're for this one here. So KC plus KC minus. Actually, it's equal. KC minus. Then let's go. Uh, slash backslash oh there's enough in here uh, and let's just double check that we're all good so we've got one two three we know we're gonna need uh, these uh, layers there so let's make sure that they're defined so let's just call that uh, l0 now this num layers we're gonna go for here I'm not even sure if it's used anywhere uh, here so underscore l0 l0 and then we know we're gonna need, need a 2 and a 3 a 2 oops a 2 and a 3 okay so now that we've got the layers set up there so save now we got layer one we need to set up layer two and layer three so layer two one two three yeah one two and three and three two and one so you can see we're actually adding more layers this way we're using the press activation uh, method uh, we're going to go into different methods in a in a future tutorial here. So now we've got the three layers, but then how do we get from that to that third layer using uh, this? So this is where we need to go. Um, I'm going to grab an example we've got somewhere else. Um, so key maps, uh, I think it's in here. See, there's a, a, a bunch of different layers and functions here but there's a very specific call see there's a function hall here process user layers that we need to bring so let's bring that over uh, so it's a separate function so process user layers now what we need is to say this is the the layer one when you have layer one and layer two at the same time call layer three okay now we need to make sure that this gets called as opposed to the default one so for that we need to go and copy another piece of information from here so you can see very clearly there is a user function zero so we need to copy this over to our adjust layer key map here so let's bring that here so process user layers so what, what we're doing is we're making sure we're not using the default one we're using our own and then we're going to call the we make sure that it's defined in the header file and then we actually uh, declare exactly what it actually gonna do when we are gonna go layer one layer two layer three in here so we've got all our functions set up now to be able for the keyboard to detect when we're pressing both layer one and layer two it's gonna jump to that third layer where we've got these equal minus uh, at the top so let's just go and save all and do a compile to make sure that we've got uh, 
all it properly set up uh, that it compiles fine. Oh, and I'm going to call the adjust layers, not the layers. So I'm compiling the, right, the wrong one right now. Okay, so let's go and select the one that we want. So it's the adjust layer. Now, because this is a new one, we've made a few changes. There you go, there's a problem. Key scanner has not been declared. Ah, that's because there's something else we need to go and grab uh, into our adjust one here. So you can see this is ours, and then this is the other one. And let's go to the top. See, there's a key scanner we need to include, which this one was not included. So let's go in, included file save all and then let's just go in recompile uh, okay when we get these red error messages in vs code whoa there's something funny happening ah that's because we've got one of those uh so when you have something like this that's because there's a recursive include so if you look comparably f define key map is there and then it's above so we just need to and bring that above. There we go. So that should resolve it. And uh, yeah, so what I was saying, whenever it goes in the red in VS Code, that big error message, so I've noticed that you just kind of call it a couple of times and the error clears out. If it never clears out, then what you need to do is you can close the, uh, the terminal and start a new terminal, then you'll be able to compile again. Okay, so now we've got it uh, compiled, so let's get it to flash and gotta remember to uh, flash, where did it go? There we go. Uh, so it's COM24 layers, but it's now the adjust layer. So we're, we're flashing the tutorials, um, the adjust layer to the platform, and then this is the COM24. So let me just go and show you the uh, program and the inset. Uh, this is what we're flashing it to. So let's send it over. Just like in the previous time, we're going to send in the bootloader and then the firmware. Okay, now it's done. So let's um, let's go and test it out. So uh, if you remember, oh, I think I probably closed it. So let me just do uh, reload the tester application. So let's just move it here. Okay, so uh, remember we've got three layers that we can access differently. So just like last time, we haven't changed a layer two. So we've got, let's just try the first one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we're good. So now with the first layer, we've got the arrows. Now with the second layer, we've got letters and not, so we've got letters here. So it goes all over the place. And now that pressing both, we've got the plus and minus when we go on top. So equal, uh, minus, slash, and backslash. So we're good. So you can see what we've done is we've configured uh, one layer, second layer, and then a third layer when we press two keys. Uh, so by, if we've got more keys, more layer keys that we can select, um, we can actually add more combination by, and let me just go back to the program here. So uh, by going to the key map here, so by going to our function here, so you see key scanner process for three, one, two, and three. Well, if we had a fourth one, so we could go one, three, and four to get to the four, or we can actually build up multiple layers. So if we want to have access layer three, or access layer four, or access layer five, by different combinations. So if we have two keys, we the first two layers are the first, first two keys. But then if we want to access a 
a another layer than or combination of three keys then we just say the first combination of the two and then that gives us to a, th a third layer and then that third layer with um, the extra key that give us gonna give us access to the fourth layer uh, so it's by playing with um, the cumulative numbers of these layers that we can actually get to uh, more complex uh, combinations of keys. Uh, but typically two keys is going to be more than enough uh, to cover. So um, if you remember with like three keys you could have like no layers uh, and then two keys this way, two keys that way, two keys that way. So that's like uh, one, two, three different um, you could say upper layer that are hidden that not directly accessible plus the three that are present so that's actually like six uh, additional layers you can easily get to uh, with three keys so uh, we can go more complex but um, it'll be difficult to remember all the keys we need to press if we need to go that way so in any case um, we've actually successfully configured uh, three layers using two different uh, access keys uh, using this function here. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.